Is this the man to take the heavyweight championship back to the United States where some observers, perhaps a shade arrogantly this week, have said the heavyweight championship's rightful place is America. We would uh, beg to differ, I suppose, in Britain with Lennox Lewis reigning as he does. But this is Grant, gifted with natural athletic brilliance at college, good enough for a career in American football or the NBA. NBA. He also threw a 90 mile an hour fastball. He came late to boxing at 20 and has established a 31 fight unbeaten record. That's earlier on before he left the dressing room. Yes, they, they all prayed, the whole camp uh, said a prayer in the dressing room. He is a, a religious man. And you know, obviously, you know, you've got to try and find something in yourself and find something about your, your faith and how much you believe you can do what you want to do. We wondered earlier this week if he was losing his nerve. But he seems to have just come alive a little since coming into the arena here, doesn't he? This man who's polite, Bible reading, who sings in his church choir and plays the piano. He wears spectacles out of the ring. He almost looks like a lawyer. But at six feet seven and nearly 18 stone, he represents danger if he can hold his nerve and carry out his strategy tonight. Well, can he? Well, he's got it all to do. It's a, it's a big shout. But, you know, he says he's ready, he's worked hard, he really has cut himself off in his training camp in North Carolina. Worked, you know, when I was there, it was like being on a rock, he said. He really was punishing his body to get ready for this moment. And he said he was going to do it, he was going to take the title away from Lennox Lewis. He looks like a man, doesn't he, who knows this is his night of destiny. Yes, I, I think he does. I think, you know... Sports people know when it's it's your one night when you've got to you've got to do it there and then and you know, this is his night this is when if he's ever going to do it he's got to try and do it now. So we await now the entry of Lennox Lewis. Here he comes, having had his habitual sleep backstage. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Is there any more languid man in the world? than the man that we still regard really as the undisputed heavyweight champion regardless of the politics of the courtrooms and the WBA. There is his mother, Violet, with him every step along the way. And of course, his biggest fan. Well, he's enjoying the view from the top of the boxing mountain. Now does he have the drive and motivation to stay there? Interestingly, his trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, has been filling his head with fear, he says this week, reminding him how painful and damaging it would be to his reputation to lose in what is effectively a first defence of becoming world number one. Well, a boxer has to feel fear, and Manny Stewart's trying to get him to feel it, just in case he is getting you know, lazy about it, he's not as focused as he was, I'm sure he will be, but... Your money stewards there to motivate their champion. All the greats have established an era of domination. Jack Johnson, Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. Can Lewis go on to do that? No non-American ever has as yet. Here we go. Gentlemen from Madison Square Garden, New York City. Tonight, 29 April, year 2000. Panics of USA, main events, and your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser, present two men. The two combined biggest men in boxing history, facing each other for one title. The one true title, the legitimate Universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Thanks and bye. 
the New York State Athletic Commission, the WBC, the IBF, and the IBO. Presented in association with TVKO pay-per-view from HBO Sports and HBO World Championship Boxing. At ringside, the three judges assigned to score this 12-round bout on the 10-point must system are Anek Hong Tong Kam, Melvina Lathan, and Steve Weisfeld. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Arthur Mercanti Jr. And now, from Madison Square Garden, New York City, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with blue. He stands six feet seven inches tall and weighs 250 pounds. He comes to the ring tonight with a perfect professional record consisting of 31 bouts. 31 victories, including 22 knockouts. And he has held the world title belt of the IBC. Ladies and gentlemen, from Norristown, PA, USA, here is the top-rated world contender, the undefeated challenger, Michael Brown. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, Standing tall at six feet, five inches, and weighing in at 247 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one with 37 bouts. He has 35 victories, including 27 knockouts. Only one defeat with one draw while capturing four world championship title belts. Ladies and gentlemen, from East London, England, presenting... The universally recognized, the reigning and defending, undisputed, true heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Everybody else out. Let's clear the way, sir. Now watch here, Michael Just Grant second, usually Michael, okay. says God bless you to his opponent at the end of the instructions. Good evening gentlemen, you two are big men. Let's have a nice clean fight, good luck to the both of you. God bless. He did say it as well, didn't Mike Tyson used to do that as well? I don't think so, <laughs> I don't think he did. Very emotional Michael Grant looks. 27 years of age from Norristown, Pennsylvania. And Lennox Lewis defending his territory. Grant says he'll put pressure on early on. Good jab and a good right hand and a left hook from Grant. Lewis having to take those shots early on. Well, he's true to his word. This is what he said he was going to do. This is what he trained for. Keep it clean. Step back, Lennox. Grant with the blue waistband, for those of you who may need the identification, it can't be men. Right hand from Lewis, Grant's whole strategy based on speed and work rate to make Lewis fight at a pace he may not like. He's looked a bit sloppy defensively early on here, Lennox. Step back now. Grant has a way of stopping opponents late in fights. Lewis may not be able to be too languid Stop holding us. tonight. Stop down, too relaxed about it. Can't afford to drift. Well, Lennox has got to get his jab Wait. working, got to get his get boxing back. going. Start dominating behind that jab. It's a very educated punch. Break! Come on, let's... 
stop holding now, man, the champ. Let's this go. might be interesting too. Grad at six feet seven, looking to become the tallest world heavyweight champion in history. If he gets there, beating Jess Willard years and years ago. Great right uppercut and a clubbing right from Lennox Lewis and Grant is laid out in the very first round. Can he get up from that? The count is at five, six, seven. He's all over the place. Does he know where he is? I don't think so. He was down against Galata. He breathes heavily. Lewis just gives him a second more. He's looking to just pick the punches here. Lennox Lewis. More clubbing race and Grant's gone again. He's gone again. He'll have to take another count because only the ropes kept him up. Can he get through this? There is 45 seconds left in the round now. There's no three knockdown rule in effect. Another knockdown doesn't necessarily finish it, but Lewis has got him here, just as he had Andrew Galotta. Grant down twice in the round, and in crisis. Lewis has to go for him here and try to finish it off. What is he waiting for for a second there? He's looking to just pick the shot. Grant is absolutely all over the place. Ian, he's out on his oh, feet. Oh, that's it, surely. Huge right hand. Three, Three knockdowns in the round. Four, five, the count is five. Six, is he going to make it? The bell's going to go any second, too. Eight, he gets up at eight, and the bell one. goes. And how on earth did Michael Grant get through that? Well, that was an unbelievable round, and the punches that went in from Lennox Lewis. How Michael Grant is still in this fight. He's been asked if he's all right. He said he is, but he took some unbelievable shots. The last right hand, it, it was just like he's been shot. Well, one of the big questions in this fight is, did Grant have a dodgy chin? Did Galotta expose the fact that his punch resistance could be questionable, to put it mildly? And I think we've got our answer. Ian, we said if, if Lennox Lewis is focused, if Lennox Lewis is aggressive, he can do this to any man he hits. Huge right uppercut, then a chopping right for the first one. Here comes knockdown two. He's all over the place at this stage. There's little shots going in. The final right hand, just the legs went from under him and only the corner just kept him up there. And the last one, that right hand, it didn't look he'd ever get up from that one. That was a beautiful chopping right hand. Here's the second round. Lewis is going for it. No caution here. He's been described as too laid back and cautious, Lewis, but once he's got his man softened, usually he's been a very good finisher in the past. He's just looking to pick the shots. If Grant comes back from this, it would be the biggest comeback, surely, in heavyweight history. Good left hand there from Grant. How explosive do you like your heavyweight championship fights? Well, the Americans wanted somebody that could fight, somebody that was aggressive and was exciting. They've got one in Lennox Lewis. Now the right cross. Lewis really going for it here. He's gambling. Step back. He Still. has to be a little bit careful. He just doesn't get caught and tagged by one himself. He has to be careful. He hasn't got to get too wild. Do it behind the job. Take his punches. Just be cool. But he knows he has the power to send Grant's head spinning. Come on. Right here. He's still fighting through a haze, I think, Grant. He's fighting on instinct. Maybe all that conditioning in North Carolina may get him through for a little while. Who knows? Or is it just a case of waiting for the next right, Lewis Hamdinger? Well, in close like that, this is where Lennox comes into his own. He's so physically strong, he can pull himself loose, loose and get the hands free to get the punches on. The corner him, Michael! Break. Grant's corner, desperately hoping his head might clear. Remember against Andrew Galotta, Grant came back from two knockdowns in the first round to win the fight. But these are big right uppercuts now, and Lewis has him holding on for dear life. Well, all that training, all that conditioning is the only thing that's keeping Michael Grant on his feet. It's a big right hand from Grant. It got through, Lewis took it though. 
Stop it was a big Lennox. shot Break. from Michael Grant. His big chance is turning so far into a big nightmare. Break. Step back. I don't think he hardly knows where he is at the moment. Michael Grant, he's just getting through on conditioning and instincts. And there's a right uppercut. And that might be the end of it. It lays him out. Four is the count. Five, six. He's not going to make it. Seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It is all over. Knocked out round two. The world heavyweight title stays in Britain with Lennox Lewis. Well, what about that for performance? I thought it would be a tremendous fight. I thought Lennox could do it early. And all it needed was Grant to take the fight to him. And Lewis just came alive and found the shots to finish it. Michael Grant could never get into that. Down four times in the fight. And Lewis has restated his case here. The best that America has to offer among its new generation of heavyweights. Totally wiped out and destroyed by Britain's king of the sea. What a performance from Lennox Lewis. And they say... Some people, this man can't be exciting. They've forgotten Raddock, they forgot Galotta. Add Grant to that list after this. What a shot. Unbelievable shot. Just found the gap that he needed. I said he's strong inside. He can get his arms out. He can find the space. And look at this uppercut. It almost lifts him off his feet. Well, Grant's whole strategy was based on work rate and trying to get on the inside. And we were talking, weren't we, earlier this week and saying... If he gets on the inside, he better watch out for Lewis's right uppercut. There it goes. Well, he delivered it perfectly, didn't he? And, you know, I mean, he really is putting a statement out there. This is something, you know, this is the best contender out there. This is the only man that had a chance with Lennox Lewis. This is the only guy who could take the fight to him and maybe get him. And what happened? He just got blown away. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes, 53 seconds into round number 2. The winner by knockout victory and still the universally recognized, undisputed, true heavyweight champion of the world from East London, England, Lennox. Lennox, many, many congratulations. That was some performance. You didn't need the judges this time here, did you? No, I brought my own two judges this time. I realized last time when I was in Madison Square Gardens, I, had a, I didn't have a good, a good showing in the sense that they ripped me off. But this time I brought my own two judges. Was that the way you planned to do it? Go out and look that exciting? Yeah, I just wanted to go out there and just utilize my talent. Like I said, Michael Grant's never seen a boxer like me. I just wanted to show the world I'm the best fighter on the planet. Do you think you made a statement to the Americans here? They were aching, you could hear during the introductions, to get what they regard as their world heavyweight title back, but they haven't got it. Definitely not. They're going to have to come all the way over to England next time, for real. How much longer do you want to go on with this business? Do you want to now create your own era of domination, like all the greats of heavyweight history have done? Stick around for three or four years more? Well, I just want to stay in the scene until I'm, you know, until I'm satisfied. You know, right now I'm, I'm becoming more and more satisfied every time I step into the ring. So you're going to be in Britain next, aren't you, in July? Yes, absolutely. Is that Francois Bota? That's what we keep hearing. Yeah, I, I want the British fans to get an opportunity to see Lennox Lewis showcase. And then maybe November, David Tua, the big left hooker. What about him? None of them guys can come test me. You know, I'm the best fighter on the planet. Two is too short for me. I'm just going to keep him outside and knock him out straight away. One of the things a lot of us wondered about you, having got to the top of the mountain, whether you'd have the, the drive and motivation to carry on. But I think you gave the answer to that, didn't you? Yeah, every time, you know, every time I step into the ring, I'm a pugilist specialist. So it doesn't matter who comes against me. I'll just figure out a way to beat him and... Yeah, uh, just, just make sure I'm on top. Every time I step in the ring, a victory all the way. Did you think that Lennox Lewis was going to do something like that tonight? I told you three rounds, so I got it round one by one. But he was devastating. The right hand was the key to everything. I suppose there'll be those who might just have a little sneer at Michael Grant and say, well, he was a bit chinny and he wasn't as good as people thought. What, what would you answer well, that? They wasn't saying it before the fight. They were telling us how good he was. 33 and 0 and all these knockouts. They were telling us that. We heard it from the Americans' own lip. Michael Grant is the best out there. Well, Lennox Lewis, 
proved who the best out there is tonight. He's a champion, so you know he's going to fight like a champion. He's going to use every. I mean, he's good in what he do. Let's let's, let's let's keep it honest. He's good in what he do. He got there for some reason. He's just not a stiff. He's not a bum. He, no, this man here worked for each and every amount of dollar or credibility that y'all give.